All right, those of you that play Oblivion, you know this feeling. You have 100,000 gold, and your one goal is to get to 200,000 gold. Because gold is nice to have. I like gold too. Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and today we're going to talk about you need to stop holding, hoarding your gold and actually use it. Now, I myself am one that absolutely loves hoarding gold. I hoard gold. Sometimes in other games I hold I hoard money. The Sims, usually my goal is to just have a bunch of money in the bank account. That's like my Sims life goal. But really, Oblivion, there are many uses for gold that I think go underestimated. Okay, The first one by far that gets underestimated is buying those super awesome enchanted weapons in the beginning of the game. Now those enchanted weapons, you might not be able to recharge them a lot. But if you save them for a really tough boss fight that you're for sure going to encounter at a lower level in the game, or maybe you just need it for some bad guy because it's got a shock damage and you don't have a shock damage and you keep running into shock atronox or something like that, buying the super expensive weapon in the beginning of the game is really good. Plus it's cool and it's nice to have a super just beast mode weapon that just does everything. So that is the first use of gold that I think goes underestimated yet sometimes overused. You don't actually have to, uh, you know, completely take every single super high powered weapon. You know, if you, if you don't have access to the mages guild and you want to level up your blunt skill, buying the axe or if they have a war hammer, you know, that's a good option, but don't buy every single enchanted weapon. The next use of gold that I think it is easy to forget about is the skill trainers. Training up speechcraft is impossible. I'm not even going to say it's hard. It's impossible. Find a speechcraft trader every level. Bump it up by five points. Maybe you want to get better stuff, better at merchantile or your athletics. Or you have a skill like armor where you really want to bump it up to 100 because you only have to use one repair hammer. Use that gold to level up your skills. Now, we all like to save gold for buying a house. This is true of everyone. But here's the thing, really the minimum you need is to buy a house and then buy like a storage area. That will give you chests to put your items in. I like hoarding the cool items too. I have a house in Oblivion that's decorated with all these random Diedrich items I find and the Mage's Guild staves and this guy's sword and this guy's sword and this helmet. But at the end of the day, you only need a couple storage chests to really keep most of the items you're going to keep sorted. And it's plain and simple. That's the way you do it. So you don't need to overuse your gold on houses. Now, some people like to have all the houses, which is another use of gold, is buy all the houses. It's cool. They're cool, cool things to have. They're safe areas. If you're a vampire and you need to get inside and wait and it's almost morning time and you don't want to rob someone's house or go into an inn, there's no inn, or maybe you're a super, super vampire, no one likes you, houses are great things to just hide in. Like, that's that's an excellent use for them. But really, the other use for gold is buying alchemical ingredients. Now, alchemy, super important, and power leveling it is even better because it ups your intelligence, which allows you to have more magic. So alchemical ingredients, purchasing them from the alchemy stores, even if it's just food for fatigue potions, maybe you need some restore magic potions and no one's selling them because you bought them all, but you can buy some alchemical ingredients. Buy it all. Maybe you need a specific kind and you're, ma and you're the leader of the mages guild, so you have the chest that clones them. Do that. Clone the rare ingredients like the fire atronach dust or some plant from oblivion. Maybe you want some extra health. Pop the venison in there and bump it up by 10. That way you got 10 venisons. And you can put it together with stupid cave mushrooms that are everywhere. You know, so don't really... Spend, keeping your gold doesn't do anything. Spending it is a much better use. But spending it in the right things. You need a better weapon? Buy just one. You need more soul gems? Buy soul gems. All right, not everyone likes to use soul trap. I, soul trap's annoying to deal with. You know, buying soul gems for those weapons, excellent use. Alchemical ingredients, a house in case you're a vampire. Maybe you're a vampire. You buy all the houses first and then put a storage area in your favorite one. So that's it for this video, guys. 
If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.